Top 15 largest airports in the world 2018. Think getting lost in an airport is a hassle? Try getting lost in the largest airports in the world. Check out the 15 largest airports in the world based on surface area. Make sure to jot down these airports for future reference, especially if you love to travel. Now Turkey, whether you class them as Gulf or European, that's another topic, they're also not very far from the Gulf carriers, so they also have the ability to exploit their geographical location. Now the new airport that they built is aiming to become a massive travel hub and potentially steal some of the Gulf's demand. Although the airport was inaugurated on Monday, it's still in its design phase, and once it's completed, they're hoping to see as much as 200,000 passengers passing through the airport daily. Now, Ataturk International Airport is already at its breaking point, and with the current expansion plans of Turkish Airlines, they've pushed for the new airport and they're also a shareholder in the project. The project is estimated to cost around $12 billion, and you would think with that price tag they would come up with some fancy name, wouldn't you? Well, they've simply named it Istanbul Airport, which is kind of disappointing if I'm being honest. But nevertheless, by the end of the year, the current airport which is Ataturk International will cease operations and Istanbul new airport will become the city's main airport. They've also taken the consideration of the passengers. As the nation's center of political power and as the second largest city in a country of more than 1.3 billion people, the pressure on Beijing is particularly intense. Plans for a second international airport were first proposed in 2008, while the existing Beijing Capital International was undergoing a 3.5 billion US dollar expansion ahead of the Summer Olympic Games. Despite these works, forecasts predicted that even with its expansion to cater for 83 million passengers annually, the airport would exceed its capacity within just a few years of the extension being completed. Sure enough, the facility reached capacity in 2012, and by 2016, more than 100 million passengers were travelling through the airport each year. To alleviate pressure and safeguard Beijing's economic growth, a new hub was conceived. With initial proposals suggesting nine runways and capacity for 200 million passengers each year, the vast dashing international was originally intended to replace Beijing capital as the city's main airport. However, in 2014, the decision was taken to operate both facilities simultaneously and to scale back the new airport's design. Initially constructed with four runways and capacity for 72 million passengers each year, Dashing International can be expanded to seven runways and could serve up to 100 million passengers annually when fully developed. A new landmark emerges from the landscape. It is an oasis of relaxation and comfort, designed to be the world's largest meeting point for people and aircraft. Al Maktoum International Airport. The terminal roof filters the natural light as fronds of a palm, and the satellite is an oasis for travelers. It's a modular and flexible design, making it easy to build, reducing construction and maintenance costs. With a unique advanced global logistics system to better serve travelers and handle their luggage efficiently. Thanks to a sustainable design and the use of photovoltaic technology, Al Maktoum International is the first ever carbon neutral airport. At phase one, Al Maktoum International Airport will host 200 in contact wide body aircraft, welcoming up to 130 million passengers per year. It is the largest airport in the world. Al Maktoum International is perfectly integrated into Dubai's transit system ensuring that each passenger's journey from origin to destination is effortless. Whether it's through express train, metro, taxi, EK limo, or private vehicles. 
Through an integrated approach of design and structure, the airport guarantees an intuitive and relaxing passenger experience.